So I've been exploring around, right? Went all the way to the top. Well, I went to the top. There's, a, there's gonna be another top. I gotta go down and see if I can't drive up closer. And I was doing a live video here. Sorry, you guys, it didn't work out. Uh, it was so cool. Like people was like, hi from the UK. I'm like, you know, to be in the middle of the forest in Colorado, mount, deep in the mountains, and to be able to share that with someone in another country is pretty amazing. But let me show you what I found and then I was disconnected. Literally on YouTube, I'm like, yes, look what I just saw. It's too amazing. Let me show you why. Holy cow. All right, so I'm noticing this stick. It's just too crazy. I thought it, it was touching, but it's not. It's really close though. So see this stick right here, the tree, a little tree. It comes up. It's supposed to be touching, but it's close enough, right? And it's literally right in the middle of it. And then what's underneath it? Sasquatch seat, which I call perch. Active perch. Isn't that cool? And when there's one, I always see another one. Or a call, sometimes four. So there's got to be one. That could be one there. Doesn't look as disturbed. But I'm going to guess one, two, right there. And where's he sitting? Right behind all of this for some reason. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Holy cow. So I just wanted to document that, that's all. Sorry about the live video. I might go, I'm gonna go up higher, I might try again. So we'll see, so by then you might have seen the live video and everything's okay. So on top of that, you know, up there it's all parallel, perfectly parallel. And then you got the one that comes down, which is amazing. And what does it do? It comes right down to a perch. Looks like when he got up, he even probably moved this one a little bit. It's a ground glyph. Here's where they go. Um, my, my guess is he is not far away. I'm curious about timestamps here. I haven't really been doing much zooming because I'm just, this is so amazing. Now, how does one guy focus on hundreds of places? You know, do I go back there 10 times in a row and bore you? Because it does seem like repetition pays off. But I've also had some of the best experiences the first time. So I really don't even know. I'm so confused. I just turned around. I just sat down just for one second. Just so I can get one real good. Look at that. Get a picture of that. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep exploring this incredible mountain range. What's amazing is there's nobody on this road. I mean, I've been up here for hours and I'm, I can't hear the road, I'm two, I'm two miles up, but um, I think I'd be able to hear someone m rumbling at some point and I haven't heard a thing. It's been so quiet and unbelievable. All right, give me a sec. Um, you guys look X. By the way, I just found a double perch. Um, just wanted to clarify, I'm filming in HD, not 4K. Perch, perch. Now, if I have to explain that to anyone else again, I'm, I'm gonna lose it. This is where Bigfoot sits. If you don't understand it or you can't believe it, turn my channel off, because I'm not willing to explain it. <laughs> I'm really not. That's a seat. This is a Bigfoot seat. You can see even the disturbances in here. I mean, it's incredible. Bigfoot seat. X in front. X on the perches. X on the perches. X on the perches. X on the perches. X in front of the perches. And then that whole entire world I just walked through. X below the perches. That's where Bigfoot sits. Yeah, so I'm sorry about that, but my patience level for the, for the I call it the human bubble people, the, uh, and some of those people I love more than anyone in the world, but my patience for them is at a zero. I, I don't want to talk to the rest of the world. That's why I am in isolation alone. I'm celibate, basically. I, I live, all I do is this. I go home, I edit and work my ass off on the computer until I can come back out and do this again, and that's all I do, and I watch Netflix. <laughs> That's it. I feel like I am missing a lot of my life, actually. But uh, that's how serious I am about doing this. I think they made me this way. <laughs> like, I've never been that serious about doing anything. Unless it involved, like, fun. There's something's going on with this. You guys gotta trust me. You gotta hang in there with me for a couple years. You know, just whatever the time is. Look, there's another one. Look at that. Large scale. 
like quadruple. Oh, here we go again. Look at that as I'm going large scale. Make sure it's not the tree in front of me. I'm gonna zoom in on the tree in front of me. Look at the clumps pinned together and they all go up and meet the same place. Why is that blurry? Because that's where they hide sometimes. Let's go over there. Look at this thing. This is incredible in here. Look at that. That may be one of the biggest structures I've ever filmed. Because that's a structure. I don't want to go down because I gotta go up. I'm gonna show you another one. Look. It's one of these places where they do the it all turns to white and they do the they mess with the sticks for some reason. Look at this. I'm so thankful I came here today. Actually, I gotta give Dan a lot of, I hate giving Dan credit, but I gotta give Dan a lot of credit today. Uh, I don't mind giving Dan credit, I just, it's kind of like, like a joke. But he, you know, he reminded me about hard scrabble and um, I probably would have came up this road eventually one day, but who knows when. And I feel like, you know, just thankfully he mentioned it to me or I wouldn't have found this. So Dan, good job, look at that. Just ask them off camera, please give me some action. I said, I got your faces. I got, I re explained it all because I'm not quite sure exactly what they do know. Like, if I never open my mouth, do they know I've been to Big Foot Universe? Do they know? What do they know about me if I just walked in for the first time to a new place? That's my question. How connected are these other Sasquatch? Here's an amazing thing. Look at this. I almost left it. So, you got that craziness, right? By the way, I couldn't zoom in on before. Now I can. When I was asking them, I got this incredible confirmation noise up this way. There's no tree noises here. There is a breeze up here because I'm on the top of the mountain, but it's not, it's not much. And I said, can you do that again? Because <laughs> I was still asking them. And I, my voice got caught up. So anyway, look at that crazy thing behind me, right? And then look at this area. It's fascinating. Sasquatch. Give me a second. I want to take a couple pictures on my phone here.